guys, it's Shanna. I thought it would be really fun to give you a tour of my writing space. And oh, by the way, it's my bedroom too. Well, let's start right here with my diploma from Texas A&M University. Woo, go Ags. Um, what does this tell you about me? It tells you that at 18, I had no idea how to make a life decision. Why? Because my degree is in accounting, which as you all know, is not where I am today. What else do we have here? We have this wonderful, beautiful <laughs> light switch cover, which has no decorative appeal at all. Um, most of you who have been following my blog know that I live with my lovely mother, which means that this is also my childhood bedroom, though it has been redecorated except for this. Um, also, we have this calendar by my good friend Shanda. She's a photographer, and that picture is her, so are all the others in it. This little strip of wall right here, I like to call the wall of possibility. Why? Because the first one is what do what your heart, what does your heart say? I love that, and that is a far cry from where I was when I decided to choose accounting, but that is where my life is being led now. Also, super huge in my life is believe in possibility, and all the way down at the bottom, this little door handle here, open the door to possibility. Now what that tells you is a little, a couple of different things about me, which is at first when I had the idea that I needed to believe in possibility, it was the idea that I had to strip away all the limiting beliefs on what I thought was possible in my life. But at the same time, that started to promote a little bit of desire or many desires of ego. So where it is today is I believe in the possibility of how God can work through each and every one of us. So that's what I stay open to. And here in the middle, two wonderfully handcrafted horseshoes from my awesome mom. First one is a picture of my granny in circa 1950. And this one is little me when I was, I guess, seven or eight years old competing on a horse named Misty, who was both my first horse and my mom's first horse. So she was uh, quite the horse. <laughs> um, I probably should have forewarned you before we entered my room, which is this is probably an internal de interior decorator's nightmare. There's no matching at all, but it is me. So, for instance, this picture that we have here probably matches nothing that we've seen so far, but as I said, I'm a boomerang kid, so when I lived in places that were more than just a bedroom, I could place it in a living room or a kitchen or a hallway. But now it stays there, I like it. It kind of transports you to a, you know, European, a European setting, and I really, in, I, I've been there once, but hey, it, sound, it looks enjoyable still. Down below is my vision board, which on a later time, maybe I will go into more detail with what all is included in it. Um, and again, my room and what is so important to me in my life are my friends and family, which is demonstrated throughout the pictures, um, throughout my room. I feel like before I had a conscious relationship with God, I was always blessed to know love through all of my friends and family. So I've always been in a cocoon of love and I'm very, very, very grateful for it. Um, so let's take a look at the desktop here and <laughs> just a couple of more things. Oh. Most importantly, this bandana right here, Stony LaRue, the one and only, signed. Yes, love Stony, La love Stony LaRue. And um, a group of us girls went out for Shanda's birthday and we all got our do rag signed by him. So that stays right there. And just a couple of other things. This is just a pile of books that are borrowed and need to be returned after I've read them. This is, you know, some ideas that I'm working on for possible book covers for my own book. And this is something I think is really neat, as I, I made a donation that was matched by Cure International to help this little child right here. So it's really neat. I kind of think about him when I see it. And below it is a book by the awesome Byron Katie. I love her. She was a huge influence on my spiritual view. Um, what else do we have? Love. Love is huge. Um, as I said earlier, I've always had uh, a huge, huge, I won't, I'll have to cut all this stuff out, but for me, love is, so, is such an important, integral part of the spiritual journey. It is what this journey is all about. It's not only learning how to love the ones that we're close with, but it's opening our hearts to be so expansive that love just permeates and keeps on expanding, expanding. So a huge theme is in my, that's in my room or in my life is love. I've got it here, I've got it down below right here and 
above the curio back there. So I just really feel like, as I said, the space is my writing space and uh, my, my writing is done in a spiritual sense. So I want to maintain that, that theme wherever I am. And I'll just show you one other close-up of a picture. This picture was used um, to keep my focus on returning to Guatemala whenever I volunteered there. This was originally taken a group of kids that I volunteered with in 2007 and it maintained my focus until I was able to return in 2010 and make a whole bunch of cool memories with some new kiddos. Um, okay, so also as I showed y'all earlier this week or a couple weeks ago, I had a picture of my writing space where I was sitting right here with my laptop and this space is where I sleep, this is where I write, this is where I read, this is where I pray and meditate. Um, I have to, I have to admit, I'm not a perfect meditator. I don't do, uh, I don't, I don't have good posture, so I don't actually sit up. I simply, I lay down and I have this blanket here because your body temperature seems to drop. And I keep it covered and I just create a space of silence and or a dialogue with God through prayer. But yeah, all that is done right here as well as my daily reading which comes from this little pile right here, um, must talk about A Course in Miracles. This was the catalyst for my spiritual awakening. I would recommend it, recommend it to anyone. But um, it is quite the undertaking, but I'm quite a slow reader, and if you just keep on trudging forward, you will get through it. I did. I just kept reading. I tried to read like 25 pages a day, and by, you know, two months or so, I finally made it through the text, and then just continue with that focus through... Um, the course that is a daily, it's a daily lesson for a whole year. Uh, I also have handwritten, I have an intention that I hand wrote before, right in the first few days of starting the book and I continue to read it to this day to help me stay focused on, on, on what it is, which is serving others through, through sharing my experiences with applying these spiritual lessons. And also another part of my daily reading is the one and only Mr. Wayne Dyer. Um, this is kind of like a two-in-one combo because it's Wayne Dyer's essays on the Tao Te Ching. So you get you you get the Tao Te Ching and you get Wayne Dyer's perspective on how to apply it in 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 our current in our current day. Um, and I have these little post-its here that are things that um, from A Course in Miracles, and they just keep me focused on that, reminding me that God is within us and all around. Um, of course, family picture very important, and this peace sign and this card right here, uh, our Gandhi's quote, be the change that you wish to see in the world. That quote is so um, important to me that I actually have a chapter in the book dedicated to how, what it means to live by that. And um, so I just love it. It keeps me focused on it. And up here is totally uh, not really on the spiritual side, but my friend Crystal and I think that <laughs> We love the idea of, of taking off with either a casita or an airstream and being able to go hiking, you know, wherever it is. So she gave me this picture and it just reminds me of all the outdoor adventures that we share and the ones that hopefully are still to come. Um, this picture here, as I said, this, this picture and of course it's on the back wall, it's partner. Again, interior decorating, is it's not so perfect since these aren't even by each other and don't really match anything else. but. Basically what I can tell you about this is um, from my, my one trip to Europe, I bought this picture and the, just the painting itself from someone who painted it, who was selling them in the streets, and then um, got a real nice frame with it. And now I, again, I don't know, I have a hodgepodge of things here. Um, and then the last I guess I would show you is the curio, which has no curios inside of it. Um, for me, I decided that I would put all like birthday cards, thank you cards, things of that nature that helped me to feel supported by my friends and family and believed in by, by the things that I want to do. And again, I feel like it just creates this warm energy of love and support. And that's why I think this writing space is so important because um, that's kind of the energy that you want to have when you want to share the things of this nature. And I guess I'll go ahead and give you a little peek into my closet. And mind you, look, my closet is not that huge it's not a walk-in it's just you know quite simple and to think it's not even all the way filled with clothes one whole section is geared towards a bookshelf where 
my shoes are. So, not the typical girl with tons of shoes and tons of clothes, but I think it's perfect. When I was in Guatemala, I lived out of a suitcase for a year, so this, clo this closet is quite perfect for me. Uh, anyway, I just thought it would be really fun to give you a little tour of my room, just to hopefully share a bit more of me with you. And um, <laughs> I hope you'll join me on the next vlog or video vlog or whatever we do. Thanks. Have fun.